Hello friends, and welcome to our brand new camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus against the iPhone 14 Plus. Right now we are recording at 4K at 30 frames per second, and tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has a better audio, which one has better colors, and which one has a better stabilization. Starting with some samples with their main cameras, and as per usual every daylight picture is taken in auto mode without adjusting any of the settings. When looking at these samples we can immediately notice that they are both really good and similar to each other. There are however differences, and I am going to tell you what I found. The first things to catch my eye were the darker areas of pictures. They are brighter on the S23 Plus, while on the iPhone 14 Plus they aren't as visible. If you look closely to the trees on the sides they are much more pronounced than the Galaxy and overall the entire picture seems to be much more vibrant, compared to the more muted colors of the iPhone. When it comes to sharpness, honestly both are very good. I expected the S23 Plus to do a great job, but it is nice to see the iPhone 14 Plus keeping it up despite having less megapixels. Overall, when it comes to their main cameras, both phones are amazing, and I have no complaints at all. In my opinion, the S23 Plus did a slightly better job, but the iPhone 14 Plus wasn't that far behind. Besides their main cameras, these phones do also have ultra-wide cameras. Samsung phones from the past didn't do that good of a job on retaining the colors of their main cameras, but this seems to be different now with the S23 Plus. I am really impressed by what they have done and I think the S23 Plus takes some of the best ultra-wide pictures I have ever seen. Just look here for example, everything is brighter and more visible compared to the iPhone 14 Plus. Normally I don't associate brighter with better, but here the S23 Plus really is. I am not saying that the ultra-wide camera of the iPhone 14 Plus is bad, it's just that the S23 Plus outshines it and makes it look inferior. The ultra-wide camera of the S23 is currently one of my favorites. Another advantage the Galaxy has over the iPhone is at zoom. That's because it has a dedicated telephoto camera that zooms in optically at 3x. When there isn't much happening on the scene, the iPhone 14 Plus does a good job with digital zoom, but the S23 Plus is sharper and better. With difficult scenes like this one for example, the difference is pretty noticeable. The pine tree is very sharp on the Galaxy S23 Plus, while it doesn't look as good on the iPhone. When it comes to portraits, iPhones have always been ahead of the competition, but now I don't think this is the case anymore. While she looks really good on the iPhone, I think the S23 Plus is actually doing better. Her hair and her face are more visible on the Galaxy without being overexposed. The S23 Plus is also doing a much better job with edge detection. Even though it has some mistakes, they aren't as noticeable as on the iPhone. If you look at her hair stripes on the iPhone, they are blurred out, while most of them are sharp on the Galaxy. The same story is even when taking portraits with their front cameras. My face has retained details on both devices but the edges of my jacket are out of focus on the iPhone. When it comes to their front cameras without portrait mode once again I like them both, and in this particular case I can't pick a winner. When my girlfriend was on the frame, strangely none of them was able to retain her natural skin colors. On the other hand, when I was on the frame the iPhone 14 Plus did a better job on keeping my original skin colors. In terms of sharpness, Samsung did finally catch with the iPhone, and both are really good at retaining my face details. When recording 4K videos with their main cameras, these devices are amazing. They have a slightly different color tone, but the stabilization and the dynamic range are amazing on both. iPhones have always been ahead for videos, but the S23 Plus seems to be doing just as good. Even when recording with their ultra-wide cameras, both are still very good. Once again, their color tone seems to be slightly different, but to me there isn't a clear winner. Since the S23 Plus has a dedicated telephoto sensor, 
videos at 3x are sharper than the iPhone, and the difference is actually pretty big. The stabilization on the S23 Plus isn't as good, but it is much better than having to zoom in digitally. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled. In this first case her face has been well preserved on the Galaxy, while on the iPhone some of her details have been lost. The lights on the background have also been much better handled on the S23 Plus. The iPhone makes a comeback on this next scene by keeping her natural skin colors. The S23 Plus is also really good, but she doesn't look as natural. Overall I would say that the new Galaxy is doing a fantastic job and it is much better compared to previous versions. With their main cameras these devices are some of the best in the industry. Both have their ups and downs, but here are some of the little details I found out. Samsung's pictures are usually sharper, with lights and reflections being not as distracting as on the iPhone. The Galaxy does also take brighter and more visible pictures. Its camera provides more information compared to the iPhone 14 Plus, and personally I like this implementation a lot. Many people however want their night pictures to look darker and more natural. For them the iPhone is a better choice, since it keeps the pictures darker, but it still delivers great results. Just like in daylight the S23 Plus does a better job by making darker areas brighter and more visible, while the 14 Plus keeps the scenes more natural. You can't go wrong with either of them, and whichever one you choose I think you will be happy. With their ultra wide cameras we have the same story. They both retain the colors of their main cameras, and just like earlier the S23 Plus is brighter, with the 14 Plus having more natural colors. The Galaxy does an amazing job by making the entire image bright, while on the iPhone the center is bright enough but the edges are darker. I prefer here the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. When the light sources aren't as present, the S23 Plus is much brighter and better. Everything on the scene is sharper and more visible, and in this particular case the iPhone just couldn't keep up. I think the ultra-wide camera of the S23 Plus in low light is better than the one found on the 14 Plus. As you can see it beats the iPhone in every single way, by offering a sharper, brighter and overall better picture. The Galaxy S23 Plus also wins when it comes to zoom. Its picture is of course sharper, even though the iPhone is doing a fine job too, since the light sources aren't as present in this scene. On the other hand, when we zoom in at something bright, the difference is just insane. The S23 Plus is almost perfect, while the iPhone 14 Plus is terrible. Since we crop in with the main camera, the iPhone lets too much light, therefore destroying the image. The Galaxy brightens only the parts that need to be bright, and the results are amazing. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below which one was your winner. For me it is the S23 Plus, but the iPhone 14 Plus isn't that far behind. If you did enjoy this video a thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you for watching, and for more content like this please consider subscribing to my channel.